Hey guys, Josh here and in today's video I'm going to be taking a first look at Above Snakes. So this is an upcoming tile based Wild West survival game made by Tobias Snackenberg. So this game is made by a solo developer and there is currently a Kickstarter campaign if you want to back this game. I'll put the link in the description and if you pledge over a certain amount you're gonna get access to the pre-alpha. So the pre-alpha is currently what I'm playing right now. The publisher Crytivo sent me a key for the game so thank you very much and I'm glad I can share this game with you guys. And with that being said, let's start. So the first thing you notice when you start this game is that you have a very small world instead of being in a big open world. And the more we play, the more tiles we're gonna get and we're gonna be able to expand our world. And if we die, we're gonna have to start over from scratch, but we're gonna keep the center tile. And as you can see, there's four needs. So there's thirst, hunger, fatigue and sanity so this is a survival game and there's crafting and all of that there's also a little bit of farming so first thing we're gonna get some food get some berries like this and then you can open your backpack thimble berries and eat them so as you can see it doesn't give me much hunger but i think later we're gonna be able to do some cooking and I've got some water bottles, but there's no water here. So I think one of our priorities will be to find some tiles that have water on it. So we can have some source of water. And now they want me to hit the tree and get some sticks. So we're going to, I'm just going to get a few more berries. And then we're going to find some sticks. And hopefully with that, we're going to be able to craft some weapons or something. I see a little rabbit running around. So... There's going to be some hunting once we have some weapons. We're going to be able to hunt. There's also combat. I know you can have like bows, crossbows, rifles. There's quite a few different types of weapons. All right, so we've got twigs and you can craft. So to craft, oh, you just hold the left click. And that's pretty much it. So that's a pretty straightforward crafting system. And then you can equip. And now we've got our axe. Should we try to get... Let me try to get the rabbit with my axe. I don't know if that's going to work. No, I think he's running way fast. Oh, maybe I can put it in the corner. Oh, is it working? Oh, yeah, I think it's working. Yay, got it. So let's skin and gut. Oh, new cooking recipe. I got some meat. Actually, I didn't, I didn't even have my axe equipped, but it still worked pretty well. So I've got some meat. So that's good. And now let's get some lugs. So, yeah, so the center tile is kind of going to be your base. So, there's some building mechanics to this game. So, I think we're going to be able to build a little house. Alright, so now we're going to make a pickaxe. Like this. And mine some rocks. Alright, so now I can expand the world. So, we're going to have to pay some resources to expand. So, in this case, that's two lugs and one rock. And then you can pick... Oh, okay. All right, so as you can see, I don't have much choice right now. It's all pine forest, but it looks like each tile is going to have different attributes. And I think also in the full version of the game, you're going to be able to get the bonuses for adjacent tiles. So for example, if a certain tile, if you pick a certain tile, it can boost the tiles around it and things like that. So there's going to be some strategy to this game. Uh, but for now, actually they are all a little bit different uh, they don't have water but this one has more food and more crafting materials the first one so i'm gonna pick this one so i think it's safe to say they're probably kind of randomly generated and now they want me to cut dried plants with my axe to get a fibers and also i see some blueberries here so let me get let me get those blueberries all right so i don't know if they're dried plants i don't know if it's these ones Oh, yes, I think so. Plant fibers. And I'm assuming we're probably going to be able to maybe make some kind of bed or something. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, no, actually, that's a workbench. So I just need more lugs. So I'm going to make it here. And you can rotate with R. So we've got quite a few rotation options. So that's going to be here. And then you can craft something here. Um, oh, so you can upgrade it with more logs. Okay, so let's get some wood and let's upgrade it. And you know one thing I'm enjoying so far is that I don't think there's a durability system 
for the tools. I don't know if it's just because it's the pre-alpha. But I feel like recently a lot of the games have been playing. The tools have durability. And it always annoyed me in games when you have to craft your tools over and over again. I'd rather have just like permanent tools and then upgrade them. So I really appreciate when the tools don't break. Alright, so now let's upgrade this. Upgrade. And now I should have more crafting options. Yes, so I can make a foundation. And once again, I need more lugs. So I'm just going to cut all of these trees. Alright, I think that should be good enough. So now we're going to craft some foundation. So I don't know how many... How many I need. Maybe I'm going to make four. So I can have at least a little square. And then like this. And uh, I can't <laughs> I can't see really what I'm doing. But alright, I think that's good enough for a start. And I like how when you place the foundation, the grass actually disappears. So that's kind of a realistic. And now I should be able to craft yeah, walls and walls with doors, walls with windows. So we're gonna make a little door here and some windows maybe like this. And all right. So you know what the building reminds me of? So not too long ago, I started playing Lens Island, which is also a game in early access. And the building mechanics are really similar. And actually, I really like these mechanics because it makes it so easy to build very quickly. Sometimes in survival games, the building is really not convenient and it's kind of annoying to build. But I feel like in this game, it's going to be really easy. And there's also multiple floors. Uh, I noticed when I was placing something earlier, it asked me if I wanted to bring it on the upper level or lower level. So you're going to be able to build buildings on multiple levels and you know what I want to try to do now I want to um, okay so they want me to craft roofs so we're gonna make four roofs I want to bring my crafting bench inside so I don't know if I use my pickaxe or my axe yeah I don't know if there's a way to actually move furniture at the moment uh, I wish there was there probably is yeah, so you can change the floor level. As you can see, there's like three levels, maybe four. So that's nice to see. All right, so we're going to do something very simple. But look at that. That's a pretty good start. So your cabin is your main base. You can always come back and start over from here if you don't make it in the harsh wilderness. Yeah, so if we die, we're going to lose everything. But we're still going to have this tile. So that's going to be the center. And oh, if you press C, you can toggle the build mode so that fixes that answers my question I had earlier so I'm gonna put this inside here so that's nice so now let's make a little bed I need more lugs oh and I need a blueprint did they tell me how you find the blueprint oh it's actually on the floor right here all right so I've got the blueprint and let me get some more wood all right so let's make the bed I like how you can really place them like there's no grid really so you're free to place furniture wherever you'd like and now I realize that my house my cabin is actually really really small but let's sleep as you can see I'm at about 50% of fatigue right now so let's see for how long okay so we're in the morning now and my fatigue is full and as you can see one thing I like I gotta say is that the thirst and the hunger don't seem to go down too fast so sometimes in survival games, like even the first day, your needs go down way too fast and you can't manage anything. So I like that they don't go down too, too fast. So I can just eat some blueberries and my hunger is going up. It, it's also filling up my thirst a little bit. And if I drink water, yeah, I think you drink water like 25%. It's going to give you really a lot. All right. So let's open the map because they want me to open the map and as you can see you can make the world quite big and i think the next thing is gonna be here uh if i want to progress in the story because there's actually a storyline in this game and survivors camp so this is kind of a special tile whereas if i go here i can get like just regular tiles right 
So what should we do? Tracks that looks interesting. Crafting materials, loot. Still no water. Oh, this one has water. So let's do this. So as you can see, I've got a well here. So I can fill up my water bottle. And it's actually pretty, pretty close to my place. So that's very convenient. I wonder for the tracks, if you can, like, if I come here, do I have to make another track? And do you get any bonuses for having like multiple tracks together or something like that? I have no idea. But yeah, here, so we've got some quests. So let's talk to these guys. So there's Greg and Sam Brown. So let's talk with mm. Sam. We've been out here for days and can't go home. This fire and a handful of provisions are all that stand between us and the grave. During our escape from Corpse Creek, we lost most of our provisions to the lost souls when they attacked us. Please help us get those provisions back. So find mm. the cart with provisions. I'm gonna try to help you with that. Hmm. And we set up camp after we fled our homes at Corpse Creek. This is our temporary home now. Okay, wait. There's a chest here. Maybe there's gonna be some weapon. Oh, coal. Not too bad. Oh, there's a few more chests. Hopefully we can find some type of weapon. Because what I've seen from the trailer of this game, I think there's like zombies that we're gonna have to beat. And the combat seems kind of somewhat challenging. So I'm really hoping to find some weapon. Oh, I think there might be some stuff in these crates. Let's see. Wow, these are very, very tough crates. But, oh, feather. And we got Londonum Tonic. Oh, what's that? Let's take a look. So as, oh, as you can see, I've unlocked a few recipes. Uh, so there's a bonfire here, which provides heat and light to set other fires. Smelting, so glass and iron. Blacksmithing, oh, so I can make iron tools, which are gonna be better than my basic wooden tools, stone tools. And here I can make some bow, so I think next thing I should do is maybe try to find some rope, so I can do that. And there's cooking here, so fireplace and handmade. So maybe I can cook some meat. Okay, let's try to cook some meat, shall we? So I'm gonna make a little bonfire. So I'm gonna place it right beside my little cabin and need some wood to light up like this. And then if you hold R, you can cook. So the only thing I can make right now is the meat, right? So let's cook some meat two times and as you can see I'm at maybe like 30 or 40 percent of my hunger right now so if I eat one steak I got maybe another 25 to 30 percent so I'm almost full now so that's pretty good oh I wanted to see the tonic right what it does so common understand heals wounds or at least makes you care about them less some folks get hooked on it oh okay all right so that's Good to know if I get hurt. And let's see if there's anything in the train, actually. I don't know if there's... So you can dodge if you press Q. So I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard right now. I don't know if I can jump. So I'm just not sure how I can go and... Oh, I think I saw something. Oh, yeah. Search. So I got a snake oil tonic. And some apples. Oh, so if I got flour, I'm going to be able to make apple pie. And new craftable item fabric. That's good. So now I need to find some rope, which I don't know if maybe. Yeah, okay, so I got a fabric recipe here. Okay, so maybe we can try to expand our world a little bit more. Okay, I just need some lugs. All right, so we've got dessert, which actually has a lot of water and mines and El Pueblo. Oh, so that's gonna be a kind of little town, right? And there's a little bit of everything here. So I think we can go for this. And so we've got more water. There's some peppers here. So maybe I can try to steal this. Nice jalapeno pepper. So that's gonna be good for cooking. There's a... F oh, did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so that's where the zombies come in. And at least there's just one of them. So it's not too bad. And as you can see, there is some blood in this game. And all right, that was not too bad for a first fight, right? So I don't know if I can get anything from him. No, I don't think he gave me anything. So okay, let me see if there's anything good in here. So I think I really should make a bow, but uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not too sure how I can 
make rope for now. Maybe I need to find some recipe. I'm assuming you can probably make it from the plant fibers, but I don't have any kind of recipes or anything. So passion fruit, yellow fruit, and here I think that's gonna be some kind of sand or... I'm not too sure what's that. I don't know if it's sand, but it's taking, <laughs> taking forever. So hopefully there's gonna be something good once I'm done with this, I don't know if you need like ideally like a shovel or something. Um, Cause I have no idea. I have no idea what it is. Oh, all right. Oh, is that clay? Oh yes, it is clay. So I'm sure that's going to be useful for building. So I'm going to go to bed. All right. So it's now the next day and I think I'm just going to eat some fruits. And I don't know if the pepper is really going to help. Oh, so the pepper actually reduces your sanity. And if you want to replenish your sanity, you can sleep or take some medicine, alcohol or cigars. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm not, maybe the peppers, you should cook them for better results. All right, so I'm going to be expanding on this side. I don't want to stray away too far from my base. So here, maybe we can try something new. So what about a tribe village? I don't know if they're going to be friendly or not. And yeah, let's try this. So I think so far there's 15 different types of tiles in the game. But there's going to be more in the final version of the game. But there's already a pretty good variety. And here, mm, should we try the graveyard? Okay, let's try this. Um... So I think, okay, let's check the tribe village first. I don't think there's anyone here. Okay, we can search. There might be people maybe at night or maybe later. But for sure, they have a lot of lot of food. I feel bad for <laughs> just stealing everything. And I've got lots of new recipes as well, right? Lots of new craftable items. Some feather. Some flint cotton that's a pretty good tile actually and uh, i'm gonna pick up some of these fruits as well and now let's see if so i can make leather strips i can make a tent but i still cannot make rope right oh bone axe i don't know if it's better i don't know if it's stronger than a regular than a regular axe so you know what I'm going to equip my axe and we're going to check out the graveyard. And so I think you can search the graves and that's when the zombies come out. Oh, in the trailer, I saw some zombies coming out. Uh, I think maybe it doesn't always happen. And I think your sanity goes down when you search the graves. So you get some items. Well, I'm not getting any I'm not getting anything valuable right now. So I don't, oh, oh my gosh, yep. <laughs> and, okay, so I mean, let me just focus on this guy. Ah. Okay, I don't have too much health left. I think in one more hit, I'm gonna die. So I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna go home. I don't think they can leave their tiles. So that's good. So I'm just gonna sleep because I'm going insane and I don't have too much health. So let's take a little nap. <sighs> Oh, so if you sleep during daytime, you're going to wake up at nighttime. If you sleep at night, you're going to wake up in the daytime. Let's drink some water. Eat some apples and drink some tonic. Oh, I actually didn't really restore my health, right? So I feel like I'm going to die. I really want to try to beat that guy. He's a lot stronger than the first... Oh. So I died. I made seven tiles. Survived three days. As you can see, there's 130 different items you can craft or find. And I didn't complete any quests. So when you restart, yeah, your tile pretty much resets because all the trees that I cut came back. But my house is still here. So I can still, like, I still have the stuff that I had in my inventory. So, like, you don't lose everything. But then you can come back here. You can explore again. So maybe we can make another village. I feel like the village was pretty good for materials. And maybe there's going to be... Oops, no, I don't want to light the fire. Maybe there's going to be people. No, I don't think it's still empty. 
so I really like this kind of roguelite element to the game. So you kind of start from scratch, but you still keep some of your things. So you still keep your base. It's it's just that the world resets. So I think that's pretty interesting. And like the second time around, you're a little bit more knowledgeable and you can do things a little bit better than the first time. So here I've got the survivors camp again. So I'm going to be able to do that quest for these guys. Oh, and actually, if you open the map, you can see where you got to go for your quest. So I got to go here. So I'm going to do two more tiles. All right. So here, oh, I don't have much choice. So I'm going to go with this one that has more loot and more crafting materials. And then here, let's see what we need. Just one more lug and one more rock. All right, so I should be able to find the provisions here in the prairie. And so they should be in the middle here. And one thing I've seen in the trailer is that different items in the environment can have effects on other items. I feel like it's not very clear how I'm saying it, but I think if I cut a tree like this over the fence, when the tree falls on the fence, it's actually going to destroy the fence. So that's pretty smart. Uh, so let's see if that works. Yes, it does work. So that is nice. And I think that's some cotton, maybe. Oh, vanilla flower. Oh, nice. So we've got some vanilla. We've got some mint. Cotton. And more cotton. And the provisions. So... We're gonna return that to these guys after I finish picking up everything else. All right, so let's go see these guys and see what they give me. So I got a quest token. Thank heavens, this should be enough to keep us going for another couple of months at least. I hope we can go home to Corpse Creek someday. All right, so the first quest is done. So now if I take a look at my map, I can see where the next quest is. And so I'm going to be going there, but maybe that's going to be in another video or maybe during a live stream. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. We've got a pretty good glimpse of how the game works. And I still need to figure out how I can find a rope. Uh, but for now, I got to say that I am really, really enjoying this game. It is a lot of fun and I think it's a really good idea this whole tile system because we're seeing so many survival games coming out and i feel like a lot of them are very similar so i'm glad to see that they're doing things a little bit differently with this game and i like that your needs don't go down too too fast and i like the rug light aspects as well so i'm definitely going to be playing this game more just as a reminder there's a kickstarter campaign with a link in the description so feel free to check that out if you're interested by this game if you're not interested by this game let me know in the comments if you are interested let me know as well and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it and i'm looking forward to playing this game more and seeing how it evolves of course this is just a pre-alpha so there's gonna be tons more content in the next months all right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And I'm going to see you all in the next video.